All right, guys. Here we have the, uh, if you can see it, Dell Venue 8 Pro. Sorry, I'm in low light. It's a uh, Windows 8 tablet. Nice little thing. I'm going to show you how to run the uh, run Android apps and make this thing into a uh, an Android tablet, pretty much. So the first thing you want to do is download this program. It is called Jenny Motion, I believe. Having some focus issues here. There we go. Um, it's pretty basic. Just go there. I downloaded this 32-bit uh, Windows, obviously. Comes with a virtual box auto install. Once you get it all set up, basically, when you just go in, You, you can select which device you have. I just selected a Nexus 7 uh, 4.3 version of Android with a 1280 by 800. The only reason I selected this device, you could select, you know, probably 50 different devices. I selected this just because of the resolution. So it auto went full screen when it was on my, um, when it opens up. I don't think it really matters what uh, what device you select. Um, obviously, tried to do one with the most version, most current version of Android. In my opinion, and what you can do here too is hide the. Uh, we can just hide our toolbar. Where is it at? Auto hide. So now we go on full screen. All right. So basically, we got our Android Nexus 7 here. Um, I had to install. It doesn't come pre-installed with the Google App Store, the Google Play Store. So I went and installed that. Um, let me show you how I did that real quick. I'll put a link. But um, basically, you go to this web page right here, and um, you just download the ARM tran translation installer, and then whatever version of um, Android you have, and you first drop the ARM trans translator into the uh, basically just drop it into the um, into the Android player here or your virtual machine and you're good to go and then you drop the then you just reboot and then drop the um, the Google Play Store in there and then you're gonna have everything uh, let's go Google Play show you real quick so you got your entire store everything runs pretty smooth pretty fast I installed um, BlueStacks before, and I didn't like it. It's real laggy, and uh, I don't know, just I don't, nothing really worked very well. So I installed this. I just installed it, so it um, I haven't really played too much around with it. I, oh, great! It's trying to install all my apps now. It's no good. <laughs> Um, let me see if I can stop it. Where the hell are my apps? Oh, it's this little button over here, huh? Damn. Stop installing. Stop. Whew. All right, yeah, so if you don't want to install all your apps, you should probably be smarter than me and quickly stop them all right when you install the Google Play Store um, so let's get out of here I, I installed Ski Safari because 
I kind of like that game on Android. And I wanted to see how it worked here. Um, I tried it a minute ago, and it ran really pretty smooth. Like, it was definitely very playable. You know, a little bit of lag, but um, the main problem was, you'll see in a bit here, when I tried to, um, it's basically this game's real simple, you just tap. All you do is tap and do jumps and flips on little skis and stuff. And when you tap, like, it doesn't register right away. So it's basically every time you want to jump, you have to double tap. I'm going to try to figure out how to fix that issue because that was really annoying. I mean, it's playable and I guess I could get used to it, but the load times are a little slower than it would be on my phone, it appears, but once I got into the game, it, it ran pretty smooth on a whole, so... Let me see if I can play this here. See, this guy's having an issue. There we go. See, if I just tap, let me see if I can show you. If I tap once, he didn't jump. Double tap, he jumps. Double tap, he jumps. So it's basically you're just going to be double tapping. Which I guess is, you know, it, it still is very playable and it's a lot smoother than I could get it on Blue Stacks. Blue Stacks is really choppy and almost unplayable, I'd call it. And it's definitely not the processor's fault, it's just the. Blue Stacks just seems like a really big resource hog, and so far this thing. I haven't noticed it slowing down my computer at all, so. I mean, this runs pretty much as smooth as it would on my phone. Slight, slight lag. And, of course, the double tap issue, but. Whoop. Yeah, it makes it harder to do, uh, <laughs> to do, uh, Yeti flips if you're not. Not, you gotta basically double tap and hold, so. But, pretty sick. I mean, the graphic, everything's really good. Graphics quality, I know from this video, you can't really tell, but. And I'm trying to play through my phone, so I'm just crashing all over the place. But, hey, if you want to play uh, all of your favorite Android games on the Dell Venue 8 Pro, this is a very viable option for you. And I'm on the 32. I'm going to I'm going to actually trade this up for the 64 uh 64 gig version. This is a 32 gig version and um I basically have no room left on this anymore. I mean, obviously get a 64 gig SD card and you could probably install it on that. But you know, very snappy, very fast. We can uh, let's see what other what other apps are popular. Um, whoops. See this Trial Extreme Three. Let's try this one real quick. All right. It's kind of a fun game. Um, Jesus. All right, maybe we'll go faster. But, uh, yeah, let's go, um, whoops. There's a couple things that are annoying, like the, <laughs> trying to access, there we go. So, I mean, you can just get anything on this, which is legit. Because the Windows App Store is just garbage. It's like literally five, now nah, maybe literally 15 apps that are useful in that store. So, 
this is just nice to be able to um, have full access to Android and everything you do on an on Android tablet you should be able to do on here I know a lot of people play that stupid Candy Crush game it seems like but I'm not going to show you how that works I'm sure it works just fine um, I'm more into games like the Ski Safari that we just played or this uh, Trial Extreme is pretty fun so when that downloads, we'll see uh, how that runs. I'm going to just pause it until it's downloaded. All right. So uh, Trial Extreme installed. Let's fire it up for the first time. See how fast it goes. Off angle view is a little better. Doesn't get the glare. At least for this video camera. Yeah, so load times seem a little slow um, compared to on a phone. Let's see if we get this work in here. Hmm. Pretty sure it's loading. Doesn't seem like it's froze. Okay, there we are. We're in. Sweet. So play. Um buttons Let's see if this works supposed to go well again we gotta go with the double tap that sucks yeah so I mean this one seems to be definitely a lot laggier than the uh, ski safari uh, almost unplayable I would say so yeah it's not gonna work yeah that one just has too much uh, it's too much processing power for that one I guess but um yeah anyway so that is uh, Jenny motion I mean, you can run a bunch of a bunch of stuff that you you can't get on the Windows Market, which is uh, it's gonna be cool, cool to play around with. See see what else we can do with this program. Um, maybe a little optimization, and and we can get it to to use a little more RAM or something, so it runs better. But I mean, pretty pretty decent Android experience if I can figure out that double the double tap issue we'll be all good alright thank you